Okay, here's another one of those really classic problems in circular motion in Newton's second law. Let's say we have a table with a little hole in the center. We have a mass on top of the table, a string attached uh, to that mass through the hole with a bigger mass here hanging suspended from that. And now let's say that we get this mass to rotate fast enough, move around the circle fast enough so that the whole thing stays balanced. This mass doesn't go up or down and this mass keeps going around. Let's say there's no friction there so it can do that forever. Um, how fast would this object have to travel so that this whole thing stays in balance like that and this big mass here doesn't go up or down? Okay, well, let's think about it. Uh, we have the weight of this big object right here, which is a big mg. And of course, that adds tension to this string. So the tension in the string would be equal to the weight of this. So we can say that the tension is equal to the weight of that object. The reason why we can say that is because this object is not accelerating upward or downward, but staying right in its place. So we know that that's a static situation, so this equals the weight. That means the tension here is equal to the tension over there, which then should be equal to what we would call the centrifugal force, which tries to push this object to the right. Again, that's not a real force, but it appears as if something is magically pushing to the right, F sub C, called centrifugal force, which is equal to M V squared over R. And if this is equal to the tension, then everything will stay exactly where it is. So all we have to do is set the tension equal to that. So tension is equal to the centrifugal force. Of course, the tension is equal to the big mass times acceleration of the gravity. Centrifugal force is equal to the small mass times V squared over R. And then we solve this equation for V. So now I can see, kind of see the pattern here. Let's turn the equation around. We have mv squared over r equals to big mg. So we have v squared is equal to rg times big M divided by small m. And then we just take the square root of both sides, which means that v is equal to the square root of rg big M over small m. And then all we have to do is plug in the numbers and see what we get. So in this case, the radius is 60 centimeters, which is 0.6 meters square root of 0 0.6 meters. G, that is 9.8 meters per second squared. Big mass is 2 kilograms and small mass is 1 kilogram. Like that. And with a calculator, all right, so we have 0.6 times 9.8 uh, times 2. Take the square root and it says 3.4 meters per second. So velocity equal to 3.4 meters per second is sufficient to keep this going around in a circle and this weight will stay just where it is. Assuming of course there's no friction on the string, no friction on the mass and so forth. That's how you do that classic problem.